The war on coal claimed another 220 casualties in Alberta on Tuesday. Grand Cash Coal is closing and with that 220 people are losing their jobs right before Christmas. This is actually the second round of layoffs this year. In February, the mine laid off 175 workers when it suspended surface mining operations. That's almost 400 people losing their jobs in a town with a population of just a little over 4,000. This is devastating. September 1st, 1966, the town of Grand Cache was created and the town itself was built up around the coal mine. But that's not the whole story. Grand Cache is an oil patch town. It's an important oil patch town. It's the middle point between Hinton and Grand Prairie along a stretch of road known as the Forestry Trunk Road. In normal years, there are drilling rigs and equipment moving in and out of locations all along the trunk road. And Grand Cache was, the, was historically the place where workers could find groceries, fuel, supplies, and lodging. But the rigs are gone this year, and so is the money that used to be spent in Grand Cache. Grand Cache just got kicked when it was already down. But this is what Rachel Notley promised. She promised to move away from coal. She campaigned on it. She went on a junket to the east, touting her plan. And in case you didn't think Rachel Notley was serious, here's her chief of staff, Brian Topp, saying the same thing. I, I quite like what they're doing in Europe, and it's worth studying, studying it carefully as we think about Canadian policy. A hard cap on emissions, to price carbon, a home and industrial retrofit program, getting out of coal, getting an urban mass transit program, and getting fossil fueled cars out of our cities. The comprehensive approach like that, we can tackle climate change and it's got to be at the heart of our next government. And this is the result. Layoffs. 10% of an entire town that's already hurting laid off just before Christmas. It's climate change superstition over real life families. And the Coal Miners Union is mad. United Mine Workers of America Local 2009 President Gary Tage says there's quite a bit of angst here. Who wants to lose their job on Christmas Eve? And he's right, that's horrible. But this is where the rubber meets the road for the union. Their Facebook page is full of support for the federal NDP and the Liberals. All the usual stop Harper baloney and Bernie Sanders nonsense. I did, however, find amongst all that a post asking membership to vote for PC's Robin Campbell in the May provincial election. But that seems sort of lost and out of place when the union sides over and over and over again with the left-wing parties that are in bed with the foreign environmentalists. They side with the very parties who are waging war on their coal mine. If only the union membership demanded something better of their leadership. This is what they call, back on the farm, the chickens coming home to roost. Notley promised this, her chief of staff demands it, and the unions use the dues of its members to support political parties who oppose coal. And real people in great little towns pay the price. For the Rebel.media, I'm Sheila Gunn-Reed.